Okay, so here we have today, the, this is a Yamaha CVP605. It's in the matte black finish, so it's a, a nice finish. Um, and this one's got uh, a great 88 note piano feel keyboard, so you can play it like a piano. And what we can also do on here is we've got um, lots of other facilities that make it more interesting than a standard piano. So we can go into the piano room. Uh, now if you collected cars, you'd probably put all your cars into a big garage. Um, with this we have a choice of pianos and we want to use and we can decide where we want to be playing them. So the, if you come closer to the screen you'll see we have a, a grand piano on the screen at the moment. Now if I go to the grand piano I can bring the lid down and up again. So in the up position it's a brighter sound. So if you look at the room in the picture, we have in here um, like a big uh, theatre or church. We can tap the back and we can now decide on uh, where we're going to play this. So we can play in a cathedral, which will be very echoey. Loads of ambient echo. We can tap it again and we can play in um, a stage and the background changes again or a living room. So we can decide on what kind of um, echo reverb we want it to sound like. And we can make the sound of the lead going up and down as well. Okay, so if we want to go to our normal set of voices, we can exit out of here and this brings us to a standard screen. Now the screen is showing us our voice in the middle, but it also allows us to add a layer voice, a second voice. So if I've got my standard piano on there, if I go into my layer voice, I can add to it a second instrument. So let's say I put on some strings with that. We'll pick um, orchestral layers. Uh, let's go on choirs there, look. Go to mm -hmm. So now when I play, I've got two sounds, the humming and the piano. So it just builds up a, a, a nicer, bigger sound. Now, I can turn my voices back off again. I could have a lower voice. That means my left hand will have maybe a, um, let's have a piano in my left hand. So we can be quite inventive here. We can put the piano in our left hand. I've still got my humming at the top. So I get different voices from different hands and that gives me lots of other options. Again on here we've got a rhythm section. So if I come into my left hand side here, we've got a thing saying, I've got modern big band selected, but we have a, a large selection of drum styles. Modern big band here, I can play a chord and it will give me an introduction and it will give me a full backing. So we can decide what accompany we want. Let's go to a different one. Let's go into a different section. Rock and pop. And we'll go into um, 70s rock and pop. We'll go to 70s pop duo. And then we get an accompaniment. Full introduction. Now the, the instrument itself has a large section of accompaniments, 
lots of things to make it more interesting while we're playing, like introductions and endings. We've got a large selection of voices that will come on the screen when we choose them. And then we've got a, an area where we can store our best settings. So if you like a particular setting with a certain style or a certain voice, we can store it in and it's ready to come back to another time. The final thing I'm going to show you is a song section. The song section allows us to record our own music. If we go into the song button here, there are lots of preset songs that Yamaha have already recorded in and we can go into these. Some of them make it easy to learn to play. Some of them allow you to play over the top. So if I went into, um, let's have a look, Follow the Lights, these will actually guide me through a song. I can pick, there's Amazing Grace, I can press play, and I can even see the music on the screen, and I can make it bigger. Okay. And, just let it, and here we go, and it shows me the note to play, and it lights up the note here, look. See above the note? And it waits for me. And the music shows me the notes to play. Really good teaching facility we can get into playing and learning to join in and getting our fingering things but if we also use this section we can use it for um, jamming along over the top of something so if I go into uh, let's have a look easy play or let's play I can choose a song so I might want to pick hey Jude playback and I can just join in CVP605 and it all folds into the lid very, very neatly. I hope you found that useful.